What up guys, Spartan85. Today we're checking out Forest Keeper. The dev, uh, LB Games, emailed me and said, hey, would you check out my demo for this game? I said, you know what, why not? It comes out next month, uh, I'm sorry, not next month, April of 24. It's on Steam. If this, if this looks cool, I just want to suggest add it to your wish list on Steam. It helps these devs out a lot, it moves up the charts, and then Steam will, uh, you know, promote them a little more, so... We're going to check out the demo. I have not played this game at all. This is a, a complete first run. Checking this out. The description is survival horror set on a sinister island as a lone forest keeper. You'll unravel its grim secrets from eerie backstory of a royal vacation home turned nightmare. Journey through the changing seasons from day to night. Confront nightmare abominations that emerge in the winter cold. Sounds like it's right up my alley. So let's uh, let's jump in and check this out. July 28, as the boat leaves you on this island and an exciting new job, you slowly get familiar with it. So we're guessing we're doing this for a job of some sort. You accept a job as a forest keeper on an uninhabited island by the recommendation of your psychiatrist. She said you should be alone for a while. <laughs> that's 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 nice. You want to murder somebody? I guess <laughs> this island is not quite known. Rumors say it was a vacation home of a king and used for many things. Currently, it holds no purpose whatsoever. July 28. Alright. Looking out the window, looks like it. That door is locked. Guess we need to go downstairs. Right, so this is my house from now on. Not bad. Yeah, uh, not bad. Q is examined. Um, that is blurry as heck. I oh wait, E to read. Okay, Island Diary. Henry here again. I arrived on the island and began to scout it. The people that brought me here didn't have much to say about the place. I'm glad my psychiatrist recommended me this job. So this is me talking, I guess. All right, there's a bookshelf. Can I find a mini bike schematic there? Maybe. Or a boat schematic, I can get off this island. Oh, you just push the door and it opens. Okay. Now we know. Explore the island. There's some mushrooms. There's like a little thing floating through the sky here. I guess that's maybe telling us where to go. Possibly. There's a pig! Hey, buddy can't do anything with them. I can't hit them or anything like that. Okay. Guessing it's kind of like maybe a walking simulator meets psych psych horror maybe. It's down here. A little stone outcropping here and a lighthouse. One of the things I really want to do when I go to Boston next month for PAX East is actually look for some lighthouses. I don't... The fucking lighthouse is not working. How will the boat find its way here? Yeah. How's the boat supposed to find its way here? Is there a way to make get it working? I don't know. And we have something over here. Some type of... Graveyard, I guess? Alright. Graveyard next to my shed. Not creepy at all. Eh, not creepy. There's a rabbit. Hey, buddy. You're trying your hardest, aren't you? Not a very fast rabbit. <laughs> He's not very fast at all. Okay. Alright, we got something here. Some type of cave? Looks like it. Pretty small island looks like it, too. I mean, it just... Let's go on a little bit over there. What is this, a goat? Kind of chilling out. Alright. Objective completed. We explored the island. Use bunker door key. Continue exploring or return home. Okay. We need a bunker door key for that. Yeah, pretty small island. I kind of like that. I feel like there's not, like, it's not overwhelming the amount of stuff you have to explore. I kind of like that. Nice and simple. Man, this is massive. Is that a, a, whatever the heck this is. 
another cave of some sort, or maybe that's the... Is that part of the bunker? Not sure. I can get on top of it here, but there's not much going on. Okay, I guess we'll find that out later. Well, let's head back home. That's It said I can continue exploring or head back home. I feel like I've kind of explored the island. So let's let's head back. Hey, there's a gas can. can. Make that explode if something tries to attack me, maybe. Another gas can. October 26th, as the rain pours on this rainy autumn night, thunder can be heard louder and louder. So we've been here for a little while now, a few months. October 26th, yeah, I mean, a couple months. Three, ooh, a gun! Damn, that thunder is getting closer. Well, that's random. Okay, so... Fire, zoom, and reload, okay. Okay, so one is to take it out. Zoom. Okay. Well, things escalated kind of quickly, I guess. Picked up a banana. Uh, a fish conserve. I guess that's a food, like maybe sardines or something. Oh, here's here's our inventory tab. Okay. Kind of reminds me of Resident Evil a little bit. Just a limited inventory, you know. That's That's okay, though. There's the other bedroom. Not much going on up here. There is something we can, I think, search here? It popped up for a minute, then it disappeared. It says use. You know, I think it's the lamp, actually, that it's... Well, no, see, it picks up something right, right here. Use. It's the TV. Okay, so the TV doesn't turn off. Okay. Alrighty, then. I guess we're going outside. Can I pick up this lamp? Whoa, okay. Okay. I guess not. Okay, some thunder. A cutscene is... Uh, we got a fire spreading now, looks like it. Ah, the door's open, maybe. Okay. So we can take this. Two to use. Check out the fire. Yeah, let's go check out the fire. What is that? Holy mother of God! Yeah, oh, de definitely holy mother of God. Um, yeah, I'm getting back inside. Where's where? I need more ammo. Oh, what the heck is that? Uh, do I have any more ammo? Got Ozzy Osbourne and one of the seven serpents outside. Uh, yeah. I guess we need to make a run for the fire. Um, all right, I'm going to jump over you guys and we're uh, we're off. Peace out. Okay, we're checking out the fire, now what? Yeah, they're, they're coming. I mean, what do, what do I gotta do? I don't have a way to fight. Oh, you can search these drawers. Aha! You picked up... I don't know what I picked up. You picked up 9mm rounds, so there is more ammo. Uh... I don't know what I picked up. What is this? Ooh, is that flares? 12 gauge. Ooh, there's a 12 gauge somewhere. Okay. Now we're talking. Where's the 12 gauge at? Hey, they're running away. You guys don't want to fight? Yeah, they just bugged off. Oh, here's old boy. 
He's dead. All right. Um, uh, where's the alien tarantula dude? Oh, I hear him. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that's a creepy looking thing. It's like making me hallucinate a little bit. Uh, let's go down here, I guess. Okay, we're checking out the fire. What do we need to do? Oh, the bunker's open now. I, I didn't pick up a key. Okay. Looks like some sort of laboratory. I wonder what it's for. Uh, examine. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Um... Some type of necklace is on them. Okay. Interesting. Dear reader, one windy night there was a meteor shower. Most of them fell in the ocean, but there came a small one for me, like a gift from God. All my research became useless, and therefore a path to immortal life was presented to me. Cool. Makes a little bit of sense. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this. We can rotate it, and we can throw it. I don't know. Okay. I picked up something. I have no idea what I just picked up. Okay. Was it more ammo? No, it wasn't more ammo. Uh, picked up a room key. Okay. Dear reader, my name is not important here, but rather what I did. There is a saying, when you pray for rain, you get to deal with the mud too. I have never had this much guilt in my whole life. Picked up a VHS tape. There's a TV in our house. I guess we can go watch. Um, I guess we use the key for this. All right, it won't let me unlock the door. Oh, here's the VHS right here. Okay. Okay, we put the tape in. Kind of creepy. A little night vision action going on. All right. That's the tape. Sadly, you have reached the end of the demo. Well, that's it right there. That's the end of the demo. Uh, that's what we have to work with. Uh, definitely got some potential. Um, you can see some part of the games are locked, like the key didn't work on the door, so that's probably going to come after the demo. Um, it's interesting. It's got it's got some potential. Definitely got some potential. The whole like sending me to the fire, and then that was kind of it, and then you kind of walk over to the, the bunker, and then you're in. Maybe a little more direction, like, hey, go to the bunker, or I don't know. But uh, good. I like it. I think it's got some potential, and uh, we'll definitely keep an eye out for the full release. And when the full release happens, maybe we'll check it out again. So thank you to the dev for sending me the game, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you guys. Bye.